Welcome back guys. In this episode, we're going to do a full tune-up on our Merc Cruiser 6.2 MX Horizons. We're going to be replacing spark plugs with NGK Laser Iridium, Merc Cruiser spark plug wires. We have a new cap and rotor. The rotor also comes with a hardware kit. Here are the part numbers for the cap and rotor. Here's the part number for the wires. It shouldn't really be too bad of a job. Just uh, it's tough to get to one side of the motor. But uh, we'll tackle that today. All right, down here in the engine room, we are working on the port motor first. You got here, this is the, the cap and rotor is underneath here you have all the spark plug wires connecting to it on this side and this one here that's the coil wire you get a coil wire wire also with the kit here's all the wires that come in the kit they're different lengths sets of two you got short one here then you got one a little bit longer i mean two more a little bit longer then two longer than that and then finally the longest ones there the shortest wire is a single. This is the coil wire. All right, so first we're going to do the cap and rotor. So uh, let's see. It looks like you need Torx bit screw for that. Should be one on both sides, and that cap should be easy enough to come off. So we'll pull that off and take a look at that. All right, so looking at the side of the motor, underneath the manifolds, you'll see the spark plug wires. A little difficult to get to some of them. So I'll squeeze my hand in there and pull some out. Let's take a look at the old spark plugs, see what they look like compared to the new. Okay, there's our first plug. It doesn't look too bad. Here we are comparing the old and the new. I'm going to check the gap on both of them. They should be gapped to... Uh, six hundredths, I believe it is. Okay, I checked the gap on the old and the new, and they're both at 0 .06, which is what they're supposed to be. Uh, apparently, from what I've read, these new plugs come pre-gapped, but I'm going to check them anyway, make sure they're 0 .060. I did put a little dab of dielectric grease on them, just to make them easier to come out. All right, I don't want to get my plug wires mixed up, so I'm just marking the old ones so you know how they go back when I put the new ones in. And I just use a little Sharpie and marked one, two, three, four. That's not the actual cylinder numbers, but just from the front of the motor, one, two, three, four. One being the longest, two being the shortest wire, just so I don't get them mixed up when we get them hooked back up to the cap and rotor. Another item you want to make sure you don't lose are these clips that keep the wires separated in the location of where they are. So uh, they protect the wire and keep it from getting grounded out and arcing to other pieces of metal on the motor. So uh, you want to keep track of where those are and put them back on the new wires. All right, we got the rest of the plugs out. They don't look too bad. I guess they could be better, but let's get the rest of them in. This is the easy side. The other side, not so much. All right, I checked the gap on all of these, and they were all at 0 .060, so we are good to go. These are gapped from the factory. you got to be careful if you do gap them. You don't want to damage that tip. There's specific instructions on how to do it. You don't want to use that tip as a, a leverage point if you got to move the gap on this, but they should be okay. They're set up for the motor already. All right, all the new plugs are in. Now we'll get the wires on them. So if you look at these wires, they got lubricant already put in the boots. So that'll be good when you put them on. They don't get stuck. All right, so I split up the wires. I took, being there's two of each size, I just took one of each side for this side of the motor. And what I'm going to do so I don't screw them up is I'm going to put them on the new cap first. And then uh, just hang that over there so I don't screw up the wires. That's the 
biggest fear of this is swapping out two of the spark plug wires and then you have uh, misfiring cylinders. So you don't want to screw those up. Want to make sure you get them on right. And just so you get them right, the orange boots go on the spark plugs. The black boots go on the cap. All right, we got the wires for this side of the motor all on. This is the coil wires all set up. So we're going to just put this down there and then route the wires to the spark plug. Out with the old, in with the new. Just going to swing this old one out of the way. Still got the wires attached, so when I work on that side of the motor, you can take off the coil wire here. Well, that was not easy. Never a time you work on the motor, you don't draw blood. While we're here, we might as well get that rotor off. Again, you got two small Torx screws on it. Okay, just make sure everything's clean inside the, uh, under the cap there. And you just put the rotor on the exact same way you found it. All right, rotor's on nice and tight. Okay, here's inside the old cap. I don't see any obvious issues here with the contacts. Now we'll put the cap on for safekeeping. And don't forget to put the coil wire on. Like so. Yeah, I think it was time to change these plugs. This is the port engine. Oh yeah. Okay, now time to route these wires. Okay. We wanna put the clamps back on. All right, we got wires on the easy side of the motor. Looking good. Now to climb on the other side of the motor, the not so easy side. Plugs from the other side. Yeah, they look like they would do. Not too bad, but they could use it. Okay, I won't bore you with the acrobatics of getting those back plugs in, but we're all wired up. So our port engine tune-up is complete next to the starboard engine. Okay, same thing on the starboard engine. So I'm going to snap my fingers and get this done and then we could uh, start it up. All right, she's all set, let's start her up. Friction. So I'll have to just keep an eye on that. Sounds good now. 